see that? See what it says? It says, do more of what makes you happy. Do more of what makes you happy. Why aren't you doing more of what makes you happy? In a world where craziness is going on, why aren't you doing more of what makes you happy? I'm just saying. If you don't do it now, when are you going to do it? What are you waiting for? Who are you waiting for? You know what's sad? Is that some of you out there are waiting for me. And I don't know why you are waiting for me. Because, honey, hello, dragonflies. I am not waiting on you. I did that. I waited on people and waited on people. I literally I waited and waited. I waited as in I helped serve people, uh, serve them good food, serve them good water, serve them good food for thought. And they didn't get it. They, they, they didn't get it. They missed it. It was either over their head or not in alignment with whatever they're doing. And I had to realize that the lesson for me was, you know what, these are my people. We grow up thinking. Maybe we don't grow up thinking. Maybe we grow up conditioned. We start out thinking. And then the more we interact with others, the more we interact with uh, things designed to control us or they would want to say guide us, but really it's control schools, churches, businesses, groups, organizations. All of these are things that uh, try to herd you into whatever their agenda is. You know what I'm saying? And then we start to lose ourselves. Now, I have always been one of those type of people. I don't know what that's about, you know, or, or either I do. But I've always been one of those type of people. I'm trying to find the right angle here. Put some vein about my missing tooth. I should have put my cap in my mouth, but I've been busy busting caps <laughs> on the range today. I am so serious about, you know, I have come like full circle. When you think about where I was um, 2007 after my husband was murdered and I could not stand, you'd be surprised how many things sound like a gunshot. You'd be surprised, books dropping, car backfiring, just windows closing, a lot of things sound like a gunshot. And the fact that I am able to not only get on this range and just bust some caps, but really learning how to protect myself, taking charge of how to protect myself. That is a part of empowerment. Many of you are losing your power because you're giving your power to other things. You're giving your power to outside forces. You're waiting on God to fix your problems when you know what? You have all the ability and all the, you know, where for all to fix yourself, but you don't want to because you've been conditioned to have somebody do it for you. And because you've had, been conditioned to have somebody do it for you, you automatically think that uh, somebody's going to do it for you. And I think, you know, and I, I blame myself that I probably had a lot of people, you know, I probably gassed up a lot of people thinking that I was going to, like, fix, be their savior or something. I was going to be their come up. I was going to be their, uh... Uh, they know how I am. I'm an advocate about good music. I should really stop saying good music, great music, because, you know, there's some people who make good music. But I'm into great music. I've been been there, done that. I'm, I, have a, I resonate to a different frequency than a lot of people. I have a specific frequency. I have a specific type of music. I love all kinds of music. Don't get me wrong. It's not like I have a specific type of music. I'm not no one-trick punk. Uh, you, you know what I'm saying? I don't just love hip-hop. Uh, I love classical music. I love hip hop. I love jazz. I love I love house. Still trying to find that angle. Trying to find the sun. Can you guys see me? Maybe I should just you know let it be here for a while. Anyway, but uh, I love a lot of things. But what I I'm gonna move. I'm going to walk this way. I'm going to walk and talk. We're going to walk and talk this way. But um, what I find out is that a lot of people don't have a lot of interest in the stuff I have. And that's okay. You don't have to have the interest in the stuff I have. However, if you're going to be taking up my time and wanting to be with me, you're going to need to take some interest in what I do. Because if not, that means that I'm having to shift my focus off the things I love into what you love. And if we don't like get along or if we're not like vibing to the same thing, we do not have to do the same thing, but we need to at least be going on the same path. You know what I'm saying? We need to be on that same 
direction, the same journey. You know, like you, you can be in this lane and I can be in this lane, but we but we both need to be going on the same journey. Particularly if you're together, you want to be riding in the same car together. But sometimes, you know, you're not together. So one person has to go this way and one person has to go that way. But you're still technically going in the same direction. You're just in different spaces going in the same direction. But you're in different spaces, but you're going in the same direction. So I'm saying there are people that, you know, can be far away. And um, there are people that can be far away and they connect with you. You are literally on the same journey. You're literally on the same frequency. You're on the same vibration. I feel like I'm sweating. I know, but you know, it is hot. But uh, yeah, you can be far away. You can be across the world from each other. But you are one in your mission and in your journey and in your vibration and in your frequency. And then you can have some people who are right beside you and you don't get along at all. You have no connection whatsoever. I mean, like, no connection. Like, you know, you're just two people in the same space, but you have absolutely nothing in common. You lost it or you never had it. I don't know. That's, that's for you to find out. And this is what this is about. Welcome to Virgo season. Virgo season is about doing the work. A lot of people are missing that. A lot of people are missing the work part. Virgo season is about doing the work and having the work show for you that you have been doing the work. A lot of people did not do the work. And they're not doing the work. And they're expecting others to do the work for them. And now they want to come around like, hey, I want to do the work too. No, 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 no. You do your work then. You do your work over there. You do your work over there. I'm doing my work right here. So I'm trying to get, trying to get right. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm just fine. If I haven't come to you, I'm just fine. You know, if I come to you, that's something else. But if I haven't come to you, there, there, there may be reasons for that because I am like so busy uh enjoying my life living my life listen it only takes it one or two times to like die <laughs> and you're like fuck that shit i don't have time for the okie doke or the drama anymore i don't have time for the stuff i used to do or the stuff i used to do for others or the stuff others used to do for me i don't have time Welcome to Virgo season. I know you're not into astrology. Some of you might want to at least, you know, like I, like I told a young sister today, at least when you get your astrology chart. And you don't need a, you don't need none of these astrologers to do that for you. Do the goddamn work yourself. You get so lazy and you forget that when you allow these people to read for you, they're also putting it a part of themselves in the reading. Because some of them can be quite egotistical and uh, uh, narcissistic. <laughs> Just my observation. Not everybody. Not all. I got a few. I got a couple of people I can count on one hand that I really, really care for. And they're on it. Woo. Kelly Rosano, I love you, girl. Kelly, be on it. Kelly from day one. You know Tribe. When you, and there's more than Kelly. But you know Tribe. And there's one chick. God bless her. I swear she says submissive, submissive, submissive. Like she says, and, and God has this, and, and, and you're, and I, I find it. She's very submissive. You must be submissive. You must be submissive. What is your problem that you keep saying that? Because that is actually, because I'm telling you, God is, is not submissive. God is don't submit like that. Check. Wake up and find out what is going on with you. You say that word a little bit too much. You don't even realize it, I think. But your life is not really no better than it was like a few months or something ago. Because maybe you're submitting to the wrong thing. Or you're not, you're not looking at your own lesson to yourself. First and foremost, in this day and time that we're in right now, you can't be about submitting your whole being, your whole body, or your whole plan to something else that's outside of you. 
be it the God in the sky or people around you or any group or any organization. This is about inner work. This is about now work. This is about you work. Listen, I have been the poster child for trying to help people who don't want to help them f their fucking selves. Or they're so mental, they're so in their mind that you can't tell them that they're not doing the, the wrong thing. You can't tell them. Well, they'll say, well, that's just how I have to learn. Well, then you know what? Good. That's how you have to learn. But that's not how I learn. So, you know, you need to take that shit, you know, somewhere where you learn. But you can't bring that in my camp. Because my camp has already learned, been over, been there, done that. And it's on to new things, better things. You got to be about new things right now. If you are doing the same old thing and you're expecting different results, honestly, that is cray. And I don't have time for it. I don't, this this is the freebie right now. What you're getting right now is the freebie. You don't come and spend time with me. You don't come and have me get in a Zoom or something like that unless you're going to pay me money because that's counseling. That's consultations. And I'm not quite ready for that yet because I'm still working on me. I've got some honeydews. You know, I've got some, I've got some in-house stuff, you know, that I've got to like... I've got some stuff I need to focus on that's more priority, you know what I'm saying? This growth thing is very, very real. But we're seeing right now that so many people are coming out the woodworks and once they see that you haven't fallen apart, because in their mind, they thought you were this, that, whatever, whatever, whatever. But they see somehow or another, you have made it through something, a lot of things, actually, a lot of things, and go like, well, wow. I need to get up with her. I need to get up with Pisces. I need to figure out what she's doing. You can watch my videos on YouTube channel or follow me on Facebook and and uh, Twitter at I am Val Jones or Instagram at Val Jones or Oracle, and you will get some great advice for free. But as far as you co-opting my time, there will be none of that. There will be none of that. Welcome to Virgo season. We don't go back to the bullshit that we just come up out of. It would be stupid of me to go back to the things that were killing me. It would be stupid, 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 stupid of me to go back to things that were killing me just because some other people didn't get it or slow. And they're not ready for the new class. This ain't your class. I'm not your people. I'm not your teacher. I'm not your mentor. I'm not your guru. And it's questionable if I'm your friend because real friends want you to be the best you can be and they see it and they applaud you. But a buster motherfucker who's only out for what you got and trying to con, there's a lot of people who be conning themselves. That's the saddest part of all. You got the cons who know flat out there. I can, I can respect the con who knows flat out that they're a con more so than the people who are conning themselves because that's really, 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 really sad. If you've had 50,000 50, ways and, um, and um, what you call examples or warnings why you need to do better and you still don't because you're stuck. Guess what? That's your lesson. God ain't going to fix it. Jesus ain't gonna fix it. No group is gonna fix it. And you should stop thinking that you can fix other people's problems when you can't fix yourself. In Virgo season, learn how to fix yourself. You know, that's one thing that uh, Virgos don't hate me. I've got, I got Virgo in my fifth house. So you know for a fact, you know for a fact I'm telling the truth. You know for a fact I'm telling the truth. You always have the answers for other people. You always want to solve the 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 world the the worlds the problems of the world, but you can't solve and make the shit work for yourself. You can't find happiness in yourself. You want to make everybody else happy or tell everybody else how to be happy, but you can't find happiness in yourself. So for you, this is a very critical period because you too have got to go deep within and figure out what is it about you that you need to fix about you. See, I'm not telling y'all what you should do. I'm not saying you need to do this and you got to do this and you better, I don't give a fuck what you do. The only thing I'm telling you to do is that you need to not be bothering me with your bullshit. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You need to be, you need to not be, you need to not be bothering me with your bullshit, your drama, your hateration, your jealousy, your whatever the fuck this is, whatever the fuck this was, or whatever the fuck it's not ever gonna be. Trying, baby. I know. I'm very, I'm very brutal with my um. 
I never thought I was. But I can be very brutal, you know, with my tact. <laughs> I'm a straight shooter. Isn't that what they call it? Straight shooter. Well, people don't want straight shooters. They seem to want people who, you know, go up and down and all around and lie. I don't find the value or or the I don't I don't I don't I don't see where it's going for people just to lie. Because lies always come back and bite you in the butt. Always, always. I've never known a lie not to come back and bite. You took that curve. Why? As, that would be me. He took that curve. He, 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 he came in like a bat, like a Batmobile. He took that curve way wide. Uh, I'm sorry, I got distracted, Gemini. Rising. Because uh, <laughs> I pay attention to everything. That's the point. I pay attention to everything. Even when you think I'm not paying attention to you, not because I want to, but because it's just my role. It's just, you know, who I am. As the Oracle, I mean, I tell you people, I didn't choose that. That role chose me. I try to walk away from the Oracle many times. That's when you know when you're chosen. That's when you know when you're chosen. There are a lot of people who choose. This is not to eat, boys and girls. No, no, no. But you can if you want to, and you'll find out why you shouldn't. That's where I'm at right now. I'm not going to convince you what to do and what not to do. I'll just make an observation. Might not want to do this, might not want to do that. And then you can do whatever you want to do because it is essentially your lesson. This journey in this lifetime is for you. But stop thinking that somebody else is going to fix it for you. Or stop looking for others to fix it for you. <sighs> Ladies, some of y'all are too goddamn submissive. A real king, a real man doesn't want a fucking dish rag, okay? You know what? We're in hard time. We're in crazy time. Beautiful times right now. It's the best of times and it's the worst of times. But real men need somebody who can be a goddamn ride or die for real, for real. Not just talk about it. You know, they need something more than some wet ass pussy. I'm just saying, my pussy's always wet with the right one. But you know, it ain't even about that. You'll never know because it's not your it's not your business. You're not in my life. You're not in my bedroom. This ain't TMC and I'm not Kim Kardashian. There will be no back, there will be no sex tapes. That's none of your goddamn business. That says something about y'all who be wanting to get up in other people's personal business. What's going on with your life? Why aren't you more interested in your life than somebody else's personal business? That is a really sad thing when you are paying more attention to other people's lives than your own. Because that's what you need to be working on right now. This is what this is telling you. All of this, the universe is telling you. You got to go in. You got to go in. You can't, you can't, you cannot be focused more on groups or anything outside of you. You got to go in and see what is working for you and what is not working for you. I know for me, I had to learn to not take on other people's problems or not be distracted and stuff that wasn't my vision. If it's not a part of my vision, I have no time to entertain it. Let me say this again. If it's not a part of my vision, I have no time to entertain it. I don't. I have no time. The reason why I'm doing this right now is because this is the, this is therapy. This is free therapy. This is my community service. This is my giving back. You know, people say, "Who well, you got to give back?" This is me giving back. I've been giving back for for decades. And some of you ain't gave shit. You ain't gave a dime. You ain't gave a penny. You haven't done nothing. You gave me a lot of grief. You gave me a lot of grief which almost drove me crazy. Almost killed me, and I allowed it. I have to once again, I, 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 I say I because it's my story. I say I because it's my story. You know, if it, if it was us, I say us, I would say we, but a lot of you who might be watching got to realize you ain't in the story. You're watching the story, but you're not in the story. This is my story and I am telling my story. That's why I say I, to say that that's a selfish thing to say I. No, it's a selfish thing for you to say that I shouldn't say I. I shouldn't be able to tell my story of how I have got here, of how I have lived through and overcome my situation, of how, you know what, I, <laughs> of, of, of the experiences I have had to go through and deal with. It's really selfish for people 
who want to involve yourselves in, in your life when they ain't had a goddamn thing to do with it but bring you drama. They were the tests. They were, my keys are in my pockets. This ain't working right now. Uh, but they were the tests. They were the tests. And don't be so hard on, uh, on them because people can only do what they are. Fine. But no. If you're not a part of my life, what is the bug? The gnats are out today. Ooh, that's it. The gnats are out today. The little buggy boos. <laughs> the little buggy boos. Did you see me? Do, did you see my post on Instagram? I've been out on the range. I've been out on the range since I've been. I've been learning how to protect myself and protect my family because I I, I take my I I take my life and, and my family's life very personal. I'm very protective of uh, those I love. Very protective. Very protective. Like they're protective of me. We are highly protective of each other. I don't care what you think, and I don't care what you believe, and I don't care what you feel like it's a delusion or not. I'm just saying, don't get it twisted. Step off in the wrong plane and you might find yourself smack dab face down in the dirt because you didn't hear. <laughs> the warning. Um, <clears throat> we're very. I'm very protect. I am very protective of my happy. I'm very protective of my peace. So with that in mind, if you are riding dirty, or 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 or, or just dirty, or just living dirty, you know what I'm talking about. If you are, if you've got like a whole bunch of illegal shit going on with you, I don't have no time for you whatsoever. I don't give a fuck what you do. That's on you. But I have no time being a statistic behind somebody else's statistic. And that's a damn shame when people don't get it. You're going to say, I'm the attitude. I got the attitude. When I've been telling you for years, y'all need to shape up. I need to shape up but you haven't or maybe you're trying to but still you're looking at well that that she's doing her thing you didn't have anything to do with it other than you were the test you were part of the manure to help grow me now I'm not talking to everybody because I do realize that I have some new friends and some new fans and some new students right now and I love you all seriously uh, we are we are we're in this together. We are uh, we're finding reflections of 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 what we are what we're all going through through each other. But I'm here to tell you, as the elder, it's, like, it's weird when you're the elder and the youngest. It's weird. This time traveling thing is some weird shit. I'm the oldest, but yet I'm not. I'm the oldest and the youngest at the same time. He's actually so much. He knows more than me, but I have more experience. So it's a perfect match uh, because we both have had to learn. I've had to learn from him, like, you know, to, to, to upgrade and, 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 and to really put the, he, he helped put the focus back on me. I've had other people who tried to, you know, tell me to put the focus back on me, but something about he literally had the right language or the, the right modality or whatever to put the focus back on me. Which is something I hadn't done because I've been putting the focus on everybody else. And it just kept failing me. It just kept failing me. My life just seemed to like not be happy or not like I'm doing all the right things. I'm a smart chick. I'm a good chick. What's going on? I wasn't loving myself enough. I was putting others ahead of me who didn't deserve that space or that place. I had to put myself in the proper place first put yourself first put yourself first when you wake up in the morning it's you and goddess it's you in this earth it's you in the ground that you're walking on it's you in the air you breathe it's not like something up in the sky okay it's you take put your responsibility and your accountability in and realize that you have the power to make or break your day nobody else nothing else you do but when you allow people who are not of your energy remember you allowed that so I'm being very uh, there used to be a time when I would just try to like avoid stuff I'm I'm, I'm real good at avoiding I would just like jet I would just you know if I didn't blow up I would just like I would just bounce and jet but I'm learning the balance of that and I am learning how um, 
I won't call it so much as avoidance as in I just don't spend the time. If you do not resonate with my energy and my vibration, I'm not going to spend the time arguing with you why or what. I've done that with people. Argue with people why I was feeling a certain kind of way and what I was going through. And they're telling me what I'm going through. Like they're going through it. And they'll always say, well, I've been through that too. You have not been through what I've been through because every experience is unique. I need you to hear me. That's one thing I do need you to hear me right now. Remember, every experience is unique. Your experience is unique. Your experience is not like anybody else. So stop trying to say, it's just like this. And it's just, I don't know but one person. Who we share such similarities that we could say, oh yeah, this is the same, same, same. And even that, we're, we're, we're different people, we're different things, it's different stuff. Because he's got his experiences, which are massive, and thoughts. And I've got my experiences, which are massive. But we know how to put that together. But some people don't have that experience. They like to live through others. They like to live vicariously through others. And I don't have time for people who want to live vicariously through me, but you're not bringing anything to the pot, to the table right now. I don't care. Well, when I get this, I got you. And when this happens, I got you. Bitch, if you ain't got me now, you ain't got me. You know what I'm saying? Bitch is not, that's not gender specific because, you know, we all know men can be bitches too. But I'm just saying, this season, how about you got you? Watch me from a distance, social distancing. But you get you. Let this be a lesson, an example of how someone found herself and found her own way out of the illusion out of the drama, out of all these groups that mean nothing, out of all these organizations that mean nothing. Politics don't mean shit if you don't dig deeper into what you see. Again, voting is necessary because that's your voice. When you say you don't want to vote and it doesn't matter, you're also saying to the universe, you don't count. Your voice doesn't count. Even if you think your voice doesn't count in this election, you just giving up on it is saying to the universe it doesn't. I'd be, goddamn, if I'm going to give up my power like that. Y'all can be boo-boo the fool if you want to because what you do will come back to you. So if you put in nothing, you're going to get something. So if you think it ain't nothing and this and that, just like everybody thinking all this is fake, people are dying every day. People are dying from a lot of things. But you, if you don't think that this shit is real, whether it was a creator or not, this shit is real. People are dying. People are like clueless to what is really going on. You got all these pseudo people who just know they know they got all this shit going on in their heads. I'm a nurse's kid. I'm here to tell you these vaccines are full of shit. But, you know. But if you're not doing what you need to do to build up your own immunity system, if you're not getting, the sun is not dangerous to everybody. <laughs> Uh, if you're not exercising, if you're not getting some movement, you know what happens when you stagnate, you die. Death is stagnation. Let me say it again. Death is stagnation. Many of you are already dead because you're stagnant in your thoughts. You're stagnant in your actions. You're stagnant in your movements. You just have, you, your, your next step is the grave. And I, I'm, I, I'm sorry, I didn't do it. And I can't help you. And I can't save you. But I can show you a chick who has died several times and said, you know what, I get it. I get it. And I'm gonna enjoy this life. And I'm gonna embrace this life. Do the things that make you happy. And I'm gonna embrace the things that make me happy. It doesn't matter whether it makes you happy or not. Your opinion doesn't matter on what makes me happy. Whose opinion matters on what makes me happy is me and mine. The only two opinions that matter to me only do. Anyway, did you get anything out of this? That's your therapy session for today. Hope you have a good day. Uh, I'll probably be doing this well, maybe every, I don't know. I'm not going to say every day. You know how I am with schedules. <laughs> it's like, what you doing today? Oh!
I don't know. I just woke up. Give me a minute. I went out on the range and I shot and I learned how to protect myself even more so. And you know, I'm 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 buying me a Glock and uh it's real, it's really real. Y'all can act like y'all can act like when that crazy stuff comes for you. What if Jesus is gonna protect me? Jesus also took whips and chains and beat some motherfuckers in the temples. What part of that story did you miss? <laughs> Jesus got a new whip. And he's fine. He's gonna whip the fuck out of you motherfuckers that have ever darkened my day. Oh, you see that Batman trailer? I love it. I love it. I love that part where this guy was like, who are you? And then, you know, he went like, excuse me, like the bugs all over the place, but he went boom, 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 boom. And he went, I'm vengeance. That was some sexy shit. Vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. The Lord is sexy. The Lord God is a sexy too. We're some sexy motherfuckers. As Prince would say, anyway, TMI, have a good day. It's been fun. It's so glad we had this time together. I hope you smile and learn something along the way. And if you don't, well, you know, I try. But, you know, that shit, that, 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 you know, your problem ain't my problem, okay? So why are you mad? Hater. Won't stop nothing. See the smile. You like these snaps. They keep buzzing around me, but they can't stop the big G. Oh. Saturn's kid rocks. Jupiter's kid too. Mommy and daddy, all in full view. But you think I'm making this stuff up? Did you check my receipts? Honey, I just don't talk. I teach. I am ValJones.com. Hire me for, uh, uh, contract me for show, therapy session, whatever. In 2021, I'm not doing shit for 2020. It's just me and the palace. And he let, he let, he let. <laughs> I'm tripping. That's the point, though. I am the drug. I am the trap. Trippy summer. All of it. Are you having fun yet? I am. <laughs>